What's up everybody? 3D Pathfinder here. So I got home from work and it's quiet because all the printers are not running right now because they finished their prints. So here we go. These are just the first batch that I've printed. So I was hinting in an earlier video that I was going to be selling some of these and what I'm doing is going through and testing the models, see how long they take to print, what adjustments I have to make as far as reinforcing them because I don't just print them um, exactly the way the STL files are. I go in and make some tweaks, some modifiers to like reinforce joints that break a lot. I'll go in and add some modifiers to increase the infill in those areas to make them stronger. So. These, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one are all from the Dragon's Den. Go check them out. You've seen them comment on one of my earlier, earlier videos. These are her designs, and um, they're very pretty. It's a different take on the dragons. This guy right here is the Golden Dragon, and this one is from Nico Industries. I'm also a patron of his, or patron uh, on his site and um, I have a commercial license from him as well and this guy and these are various filaments this is um, I don't know all the filaments right off hand uh, I was just trying them in different colors I didn't even get the brim off of this side that's my bad but um, anyway this is the golden dragon and um printed really easy but all of these printed really well um, and I'm just trying different ones to see the ones I can make the best that I can offer customers the best quality um, of model and the ones that are cost effective to print and still sell you know under forty dollars or under fifty dollars when you calculate that some of these can take ten plus hours to print um, but this little guy right here, this is from the Dragon's Den. You can see got a lot of articulation in here. Um, uh, these move. You got independent movement here. Let's get up close there. And uh, this one is the, I think, the Wish Maker or the Wish Giver or something. I'm sorry. I don't have all these names right off the top of my head. This is printed in an emollient. Um, tricolor silk PLA but you can see I like her design because she's got these big chunky links um, sorry about that to hold these models together but printed really well printed very easily this one was printed on my K1 Max came out very pretty very nice color this guy back here is called the gingerbread this is printed in flash forge burnt titanium so it's a little darker god lord will y'all shut up anyway now this one was printed on the jg maker r1 and it, it took a while because that printer is not fast but it prints very well as you can see the gingerbread dragon very nice this is also from the dragon's den very pretty i love the filament burnt titanium it's, it's an filament that you can't really appreciate till you see it in real life, the way it reacts to the uh, to light and stuff. And then we got, I showed this one. This one is the spiked uh, crystal dragon. This one is also in, I think, a Molian dual colored filament. So you got a, a um, purplish and a, and a blue, as you can see. I like the details that she puts in there. Uh, this one printed really well. This big guy is called the Garland Dragon for Christmas. You know, like a garland that you would wrap around a tree. See, you get the, sorry, there's a piece of brim. You get a, a wreath here on the tail with a bow and stuff like that. This is in a tricolor filament. I think uh, Lavoan tricolor filament. This one was printed because of its length if you can see that 
it's crazy long but the colors came out beautifully that was printed on the neptune 4 plus and uh took about i think 14 hours to print uh but you can see the length but the colors are just fantastic and um the print came out really well her designs are really nice uh, she does a great job. I told her to stay tuned on other posts Because I was going to show off a lot more This guy I printed on or girl I printed on the bamboo lab p1s and this is in a, an emollient dual colored filament uh, a red and a green and this girl is called the strawberry dragon You can see the nose there kind of looks like seeds on a strawberry. So I figured a pink and green tricolor filament or a dual color filament would be great for that as you can see the detail in her models the little flowers and you got you got you seeing a theme here from from the wish to that so she knows what she's doing and she sticks with what works but this has a strawberry theme all the way through see on the legs strawberry and all that and then back here you got two little flowers on the tail and some more strawberries so this is just the first batch i've got a lot more to go a lot more to print so stay tuned um i don't know haven't set up a shop yet or anything like that but uh they will be coming and uh because i'd love to share all these with y'all and like I said, I'll be sharing a high quality because I reinforce these joints and make them a, uh, a stronger joint so that because typically the wings break off because you've got a leverage point. People aren't really that tough with these and, and you can buy these for anybody. A lot of people buy them as kind of a fidget toy, um, something to display or uh, they just like the uh, messing with them. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend these things for anything under like eight years old or something because it is PLA, it is plastic. When it breaks, it can be sharp uh, depending on how it breaks. And, um, you know, a, a little kid playing with these is probably going to be a little rougher with them. But, um, wow, this really shows you. But anyway, stay tuned. I appreciate it. Also, check me out on uh, YouTube as well, 3D Pathfinder. Uh, link is on my profile here on TikTok. But uh, stay tuned. More to come. Just wanted to give you all a little sneak peek. Laters.